Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to the channel. So today's video we are going to do um, the next week in Roxy's weekly challenge and that is to decorate an altered book cover. So this is a book that I got at the Dollar Tree uh, about a few weeks ago and I had bought it specifically for the purpose of creating altered books. So this is actually pretty perfect for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to decorate the cover and I'm going to uh, keep this for now. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'm going to keep it for now. So I think the first thing that we need to do is cover up some of this blue. But then again, we could also use the blue. We could do that. We could, we could definitely do that. All right. So I've got some pieces here that I brought out to kind of play with and see what I could come up with as far as eat. This is some scrap. This is scraps from my last video from yesterday. Actually, for me, it was five minutes ago, but for you guys, it was yesterday. Um, this is kind of nice. This is actually really nice. But the problem is I'm going to need something. I do like this a lot, but I want to put something. I don't want that much blue showing. Hmm. Let's see. What can we do? What can we do? Um, all right. So I've got these. These are some scrap pieces of Edith Holden book. Um, and there are just some scraps here. Let's see if I don't have like this. This would be nice to use. We'll keep that out. How tall are you? Not tall enough, but we can do it this way. So I'll need at least one more of the blank, which is actually pretty perfect. But I like the writing too. Hmm. Let's see. Do I like the writing more? I think I might like the writing more. I really like that, but I do like the writing. All right. Let's see. Those are blank. Oh. Perfect. We'll use the index pages. Okay. So let's put Edith back together. And this is another one that's, you know, they're all 45 minute challenges. Um, I don't set a timer because for one, I have a timer when I push the record button, but for two, I normally work really, really fast. So if I go over the timer, you know, that's fine too. But if I don't, then that's all right too. All right. Uh, let's see. I want to use this one and that one actually, but can't do that. Hmm. I like both of these pages better, but I only need one facing this direction. But I really like this one. So let's go with this one and which one do I like better? This side? Or this side? And we'll go with this one. Oh, I need it to face like this. That's that's what I'm looking at. Okay. So I'm going to have to cut it kind of like that, maybe? All right. So we just want a little tiny bit of blue showing. Let's grab a pencil or something. Ooh, 
My husband gave me these really cool wax pencils. I don't know if the wax will go away, but we'll go, that's what we're going to find out. Uh, let's go with here. Actually, yeah, we'll go with there. Um, and we want to cut off here. So, just like that. All right. So I'm going to cut these together. Mm, no, I'm not. Crap. Okay. So I'm going to cut this like this. Bloop. I'm going to save those pieces because uh, it's Edith Holden paper. And you never know when you're going to need that. So, all right, now I'm going to cut all the way around this little thing right here. Five and an eighth, or sixteenth, rather. Okay. Done with that, and I'm going to move this to this side like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, yep. So I do want some of the blue showing. There is a method to my madness. I promise. And y'all have to let me know if you want to see any of this um, altered book on on video. Because I think the last altered book I did, I only did part of it, not all of it. And it seemed like it was something you guys were interested in. All right, so we're going to spread the glue out underneath. Wipe off any extras. It is Fabri-Tac, so it will just rub right on off. Okay, just like that. Okay, so we're now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay. After we wait for the glue. So this is the front cover, so I want to make sure that it's nice and straight on the edge. But like I said, I still want some of that blue showing. Now straight would be good. Okay. And spread out the glue. All right. Okay, so I am going to... Let's see, what am I going to do? Going 
got this. I don't really want this one though. I might have another one over here that I can use. There's words. Oh, that one's better. That one's good. Oh, that one's even better. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cover up some of this. Uh, I can put that in there. I'm going to cover up some of this orange on the cover of the spine or of the spine of the cover. I said that funny. So, and it's red, not orange. Okay. Open that up a little bit. All right, so I think what I want to do is I just want to cover this up, just like this. And it's going to get covered again, so I'm not really that worried about if you can see through it because I'm covering it one more time. Okay. And I'm going to ink on top of this. All right. Uh, what? glue do I want? I think I'm going to stick with the Fabri-Tac for now. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to push the tape into the grooves here. <coughs> I need something soft and... Oh, this works. Not soft, but it should work. Because I need it to go into the groove without cutting the tape. And if I just poke my nails through there, it'll cut the tape, and I don't want that. Okay. Same thing here. Okay, there we go. All right. I don't think we need that right now. We're going to color that a little bit. You're not going to see it. It's just going to add just another layer to try to help hide this bright foiled red spine. But yeah, you're not going to see any of this. It's all going to be hidden. And I think I changed my mind with the rice paper. I think I'm going to go with this one instead because it matches better with the blue. I think I like this side better. Mm. Okay. I'm Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So I probably should have done this before. But that's all right. It's a really dark blue, so I don't think you're going to really notice the inking on the edge. Not of the blue, anyway. You will of this. To the other side.
All right. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to ink all around the edges of this one, but not quite so heavily, just enough to take off some of that white. I'm going to keep a lot of the white, like in the middle, but just going to take off that sharp edge. That's all. And rice paper is just like every other paper. It just has a different texture. So you can ink it if you want to. All right. So hold that, hold that. And make sure we're going the right direction. Alright, and do we want this side? Or this side? I kind of like that one. I like that one better. Alright, let's do... Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so... This is going to get a coat on the top of this as well. So we're going to go ahead and bring this out. Hold that. Hold that. Where's my brush? Now we're just going to wrap it all the way around. And see, that is why we put the Edith Holden paper down. See it pop through? Okay. All right, and then we're going to flip this up and do the spine. Okay, just like that. Okay. And I'm just doing the crease of the spine right here, that little divot, if you will. Pushing the rice paper into that little divot. I'm going to do the rest of it. 
and I'm holding it because uh, I didn't think about the fact that I still needed to flip it over and do the back before I put it on top of the rice paper on the front. So that's why I'm holding it. But it would be easier if you hold off on trying to seal it until after you're done. Then you can just open it up and seal the whole thing all at once. I don't know if y'all can see this, but this is actually one of my favorite um, glues. But even this glue is water soluble, so soluble. So it's actually when it touches the Edith Holden paper, it kind of starts crinkling up. Um, so yeah, that's why I was using the Fabri-Tac um, because it will instantly start see the crinkle and it's only just a little but anyway so there's that now let's see obviously i don't want to leave it just like that i want to do something to the spine i'm just not entirely sure what i've got some of this dark blue lace but i don't know if i want to go super dark blue with it I think I might want to and it is pretty. Um let's see. It is really pretty. I do like it. Hmm. All right. Let's do it. All right. We're done with this. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up. And then. Hold that. Hold that. You need to go that way. All right. So we're going to need this again. I'm going to go right down. Where I'm going to actually put it right here on the top, right here, instead of inside the crease. There we go. And I don't think there's a top or a bottom, but let's go this route. Um, excuse you, but you need to go back over there. All right, so let's cut that, put that away, and then I wonder if I have a, a quilted image. Let's have a bunch of those. I'm actually going to fold this over, like this I think, I'm not entirely sure. Wait, hold that. Okay. 
You know, I think I might like that better on the front than the back. Hmm. Yeah, let's put that backwards. Bloop. All right. Okay, I'm going to figure out something to do with the spine because I feel like it's not quite finished. I don't know. Hmm. It could just be me. I'm not entirely sure. Um, let's see. Let's put some glue here. Maybe hold that down a little bit. My brush fell down. Go boom. All right, so it's just enough hot glue just to kind of tack it down because there's Fabri-Tac on here and the Fabri-Tac will hold it together. Um, but I do like that. Like I like the kind of messiness of it, you know? All right, let's see what we can find as far as quilted material. All right, so here's a dark blue. I do like that. That might be a little too literal. I don't know. There's that. Um, let's see. That's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, here's one too. Oh, that's even better. Mm. Oop, like that one. All right. Ooh, this one's nice. It's got some blue in there too. And I like the fact that it's got color in there as well. I like the color and the blue. And the butterfly. The butterfly is pretty awesome too. Oh, I like this. Okay. Um, no, too blue, too blue. Mm -hmm. We can go neutral. I kind of like the color though, but I do like that. Interesting. Nope, 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 nope. Where'd that one go? There it is. I think of that one. I think that one's the best. Oops. I'm touching my lights. All right, so we're going to put that one right there in the middle. Oh, I like this. 
This is nice. All right. Perfect. Okay. Oh, that is so awesome. So that's the front. And that's the back. Oh, that is so cool. And then that's the inside. Oh, that is so cool. So awesome. And I actually think I have a paper line that will match this. It's a Prima paper line. But I think I have a Prima paper line that will match this dark blue pretty perfectly. So anyway, yeah, that's it. Um, my altered book cover is complete. Um... And yeah, like I said, let me know if this is something that interests you guys. If it's like uh, you want to see the decoration of the inside of it and how I do the altered books and whatnot. Um, so yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye guys.